Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of slope-intercept form. This is standard 7.7a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 27 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have got uh, this graph and we simply need to find the best equation that mimics this graph. And so if we wanted, we could make some X and, and Y's and we can kind of plug them in and see which one works, but there's a better way to do that. And that's using this form, Y equals MX plus B. So we're pretty comfortable with the Y and the X. We know what that is, especially since we have the graph in front of us, but we need to figure out this M and this B. So this M represents the slope. So what is this slope? So we can figure that out just by looking at the graph. So the slope, which is M, it equals, well, one way I always remember is rise over run, which means the change in Y or how far it rises up or goes down over the change in X which is how far it runs from side to side. So rising goes up and down, running goes side to side. So it's change in Y over change in X. So really what we do is we, we look at one Y coordinate, subtract it from a uh, second Y coordinate, and then we do the same thing with the X's. And that's really what it looks like. And pretty soon you'll be able to figure this out just uh, visually, but let's go ahead and just plug this in here. So let's take some X and Y coordinates, and let's find some that actually are on a whole number. So I'm gonna take these two points right here. And so those are on whole, whole numbers. I don't wanna do halves or decimals unless I really need to. So let's check the rise, all right? So the second Y coordinate, right? So it's Y sub two, so let's we're going to kind of work backwards here. That's going to be 6. See, I've got a 6 right here. Minus 3. So you see that in just the space of, and it looks like we're going to get it just 1x, it goes up 3. So it's got a pretty steep slope, slanted up pretty high. In the space of just 1x, it's going up 3. Uh, and then I'm going to say my x is pretty simple, right? It went from 1 to 0. So that just means it's 3 over 1, which means my slope, or my m, is 3. All right, so we've got that. So now we need y equals 3x. That means you take your x and you multiply it by this 3 because that's the slope. Everything is going up by 3 every time you move over 1x. Now we need this b, okay? So the B is the y-intercept. And it's actually a pretty simple concept, right? So if you take this, let's say we plug in zero. Let's say x equals zero. So if we did x equals zero, well then that would make this cancel out, right? And so that would just be your plus B and that says if your x is 0, where does the y intercept right this, this y axis right here? Because your x needs to be 0. And so we know where it crosses, and it looks like it crosses. That was one of the points that we used. At the 0, the line crosses the y axis or the y intercept at the 3. So we've got b equals 3. So now let's put this together. We've got y equals slope is 3, 3x. And it crosses at positive 3, so we're going to do a plus 3. If it crossed down below, it would be a negative 3. And there we go. Our answer here is a.